Vrem intri în zona artiștilor la Untold. Kiss FM prezintă Untold Backstage Talks. Urmărește interviurile Kiss FM cu cei mai mari artiști de la Untold. Powered by Banca Transilvania. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kiss FM Untold Backstage Talks. We have a special name this year because we are supported by uh, Banca Transilvania. And we have also a question uh, received from our listeners in a very special contest organized together with the uh, Banca Transylvania. I will uh, highlight this a little bit later, but in the meantime, I would like to welcome the king of future rave, the true king of future rave, Morten, here uh, with us uh, in the backstage of Antol Festival before his show. Welcome. And um, as far as I know, you are a uh, second time in Romania. Second time in Romania, first time here. Thank first you time so in Cluj. First, uh, when you heard about Romania, first time. I, I know it's it's you know a usual question, but what what do you remember from your previous trip here? No, so I grew up in Denmark, so I have a lot of Romanian friends. Okay, yeah, there's a big I, community there. Yeah, like uh, I, I I I'm I feel very close to Romania. It's not like a, a new thing for me to come here. Um, I love it here. It's exciting. Uh, we came in last night on purpose to relax, to eat good food, okay. we have amazing soup. Okay. Everyone here is nice. Um, I feel like Romania is a, a very interesting place, time right now because it's like a lot of things are happening. Everybody is doing tech, and it's very exciting to be here. Um, I know you started 14 years ago, uh, but uh, you started both as a producer and as a DJ, as an artist and performer. And the real breakthrough was with this, uh, of course, beside your singles from 2008, 2010, um, with this future rave. I mean, how how this, this wave changed your life? Well... In all terms, you know? Of, of course, uh, you know, I released 13 records with uh, David Guetta now. We started Future Wave together and it feels like... Uh, Half of uh, the electronic artists on the planet are a little bit inspired by what we're doing. I think you changed the industry completely and the sound, if you ask me honestly as a consumer. Well, I'm happy to hear that. That was kind of one of the goals. We wanted people to start developing. We wanted to people to move away from playing the same record, saying the same thing on the microphone and maybe not use so much energy and try to create that one moment where we all had to throw their hands in the air and be like three two one let's go and go a little bit back to that genre of electronic music you talked about 2010 9 whatever where we were just hearing tracks that were like new we hadn't heard before we we're like wow sick i love hearing that and it's not like we all playing the same records every day and um that was the goal for us to make music that we want to play out and we wanted to be excited about electronic music again I know you have a residency in Ibiza and I'm pretty sure when you started as a DJ, you dreamt about of this, you know? What was the first thing you did after your first gig in Ibiza? Uh, David Guetta is David Guetta. He's a legend in Ibiza and David Guetta runs Ibiza. He has two nights and I'm joining him for Future Wave. Okay. So it's not like I'm falling off the chair, like I have my own residency. Uh, we're doing Future Rave and we play this sound in the beat side, it's incredible, but um, David Guetta is David Guetta in the beat side. Um, but the, let's speak about you as an artist. When you had the, the first of real course. hit uh, some years ago, um, what was your initial thought? I mean, have you, have you been a little bit scared that this might be the only hit you have? No, I... What, I what? can I do to make it, you know, yeah. happen again? Yeah, I, I, I understand what you're saying. I, I, I think that I, I, I don't get to these points where I'm like, wow, I made it, or wow, that's it, or wow, wow, wow. I'm just more like, I'm going somewhere, and this is a part of the journey. This summer has been like, wow. You know, I played the biggest festivals in the world, and tonight I'm playing after Above and Beyond. Like, are you kidding me? It's, it's incredible. Yeah, it's, 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 it's insane. So. It's just a part of the journey and uh, uh, I feel like the, the, the more I experience and more the fun I have, the more chill I become and the more happy I am and the more I just want to create music and memories with 
the people who love electronic music and we we make music you know like it, it's uh, we shouldn't uh, ah we have fun because I, I mentioned this at the beginning, uh, uh, in this backstage talk, powered by uh, Banca Transylvania, we uh, challenged the listeners of Kiss FM to send us some questions. And I found uh, uh, an interesting question from our, uh, uh, one of our listeners, saying something like, um, have you ever been uh, in a position to sacrifice something in order to get here today, doing what you do? And if so, what is that thing? And if you regret that thing? Yeah, that's that's a very good question, but also a very deep question <laughs> to sit and have here 20 minutes before I go on stage. I think we all done sacrifices in our life. And um, I would say the biggest sacrifice for me is to be away from my family and friends because I travel as much as I do. I lived in America for 11 years and I did oh, okay. that to, to sacrifice being a, far away from home because I wanted to commit and, and be better at making music. It, did I regret it? No. That's a very good answer. <laughs> the no part. I don't regret it. This is my life. This is what I'm choosing. Do you have any special ritual before your show? I like to have tea. Oh, okay. I feel calm and I feel good. I like to have tea. I never heard that. I mean, it's, it's the first time. I like tea. And you're a DJ having tea. Yeah, and, all, uh, and people always ask, are you sick? Are you okay? I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> but I'm, do you have any superstition also before no, the gig at no, a festival? No. I believe in God. Okay. What is the craziest memory you have from from one of your performances at one of the festivals you've been? Because uh, we are at a festival. I mean, it needs to be it's, festival it's just related. Like, you know, imagine if you were me. I'm walking yeah. on stage playing my own music and people go crazy. It's insane. It's the sickest feeling on the planet. So every, every show is like, oh my God, you know, this guy is singing lyrics to my song. It's unreal. Like, uh, it's just moments like that is crazy. I just played in Barcelona in front of 85,000 people. They went completely crazy for one and a half hour. Like, I, I didn't know what to say afterwards. And now I'm going on stage here and Untold and party with people from Romania. It makes me incredibly proud. Thank you so much. For your time here thank you so much for your answers thank you i can't wait to see you on stage thank you i appreciate you, know? you and thank and you for the support and playing my music thank you thank you thank you once again hit them hard <laughs> yeah kiss fm is offer access total in zona artistilor untold backstage talks powered by banca transylvania